following the government directive that schools reopen on Monday 4, 2021. It was a beehive of activities in school uniforms and stationary outlets in Dika as parents rushed to prepare their children back to school. Even though most parents complained of poor financial status, they said that they were being forced to buy new clothes as their children had outgrown their previous uniforms after the nine months break due to COVID-19 pandemic. They were optimistic that the government had done enough to protect their children from contracting the disease while at school. However, they appealed to head teachers to be more accommodative when demanding for school fees as most of them had lost their sources of income to the repo effects of the pandemic. Naitwa Ruth Okapi, mkazi wa Thika, mzazi niko na mtoto wa shule ya chekechea hiyo ni pre primary uh, sababu yenyewe nimekuja hapa ni kutafuta uniform uh, unajua sasa hivi leo wamekaa nyumbani miezi kadhaa wamekaa nyumbani miezi kadhaa definitely nguo haziwatoshi wamekuwa wakubwa wamekuwa warefu wenye uliko unafikiria hata viatu kuanzia kwa viatu nguo zote haziwatoshi uh, Tunawatarajia kuwa Mungu atawasaidia warudi shule vizuri hata kama tuna hofu kama shule sana sana kama shule ya chekechea una hofu au ni watoto wadogo tuna hofu tuna hofu kama watakuwa wata na vaa mask kila saa lakini we are hoping for the best kwa majina naitwa Monica Wajohi mimi ni mkazi wa hapa Dhika na nimekuja hapa kununua uniform kwa sababu watoto wamekula sana wameongeza sana na uniform haiwatoshei. So nimekuja kuongeza na tena tu, tunataka kuuliza serikali isaidia wazazi juu wakati COVID iliingia wazazi wengi walipoteza kazi na hawana hiyo pesa hata ya kurudisha watoto shule. So nigeomba serikali isaidia wale wale wenye hawajiwezi na wanarudisha watoto shule. Tutaweza ku kuzingatia maana ni kuwa mtoto at least hata akienda shule unamuwekea at least ka sanitize kwa mfuko unamuonyesha vyenye atatumia hata kama shule mibi iko na wapewe mask at least una make sure mtoto wako ako na mask asiende bila mask shule na hiyo shule at least iwe imeweka hii hard wash na na maji mingi at least watoto watakaa wakinawa mikono kwa majina langu ni Navan Wohoro na nimekuja hapa kwa duka hii ya kununua nguo nikitaka kununulia watoto wangu nguo ndio wanarudi shule mandi e, hii covid wamekaa sana kutoka karibu mwezi ya tatu wamekuwa bila kwenda shule kwa hivyo wamekula wamenona sana sasa zile nguo walikuwa wanatumia vitabu hawageweza kuvaa tena kwa vile wazazi wamefinyika sana na hii ugonjwa ya corona nigeomba ngesi serikali yetu ipunguzie wazazi pesa za kalo juu hiyo ugonjwa imekuwa imekuwa imewasubua ime sana kwa majina naitwa Julian Duta nimesimamia pande ya uniform hapa Chania School Depot in Thika Town wakati huu ni ule wakati tunaona wazazi wakikuja kununua vitu za kurudisha watoto shuleni tukilinganisha na mwaka uliopita tumeona kuna mabadiliko mengi sana manake wa, kumekuwa na muda mgumu sana kwa kila mtu wazazi wanalalamika hakuna pesa lakini wakati umefika wa kurudisha watoto shule ile jambo nyingine linasababisha kusiwe na wazazi wengi wakija kununua vitu za shule labda ni kwa sababu wanafunzi wa form 1 hawataingia january wataingia karibu mwezi wa 5 wa 6 hapo so hatuwezi sema ati kuna upungufu sana tumezidi kuona hao wengine wa primary wakikuja kununulua vitu za kurudi shule tukilinganisha na mwaka jana bado hatujaona wazazi vile wanakuja kwa wingi lakini tuna matumaini kabla 
tarehe henne watakuwa wamezidi manaka on his part the town mp engineer patrick wainaina promised that his office will do everything possible to ensure both the children and teachers had a conducive environment for learning what you're saying is that we really want our children back to school uh, what is important is that we must learn how to take those measures we need we have to learn how to clean our hands we have to learn how to keep distance and uh, we have to keep training our parents our students our teachers on the same so today uh, we are the parents are very ready to take their children to school come january and uh, i'm also encouraging them but this is my message to the school head teachers uh, make sure that uh, if your school cannot handle the number that is going to report please make sure that you only take the number you can be able to handle uh, we are here in the office we are saying we don't have a lot of money to do these things but where we need an extra class we are here we have tried to do our best in the Ica constituency to do those classes uh, we have really totally expanded uh, we have also tried to supply it, uh, water tanks to the schools that need those tanks uh, we are also making arrangements to give um, a masks to these children uh, we are also working on how we can be able to provide soaps uh, so that these children can be able to uh, clean their hands properly. Uh, we are having special trainers who will be going around the school so that we can train the teachers how to train the children or the students how to take care of themselves. So, but then again, I want to thank uh, the Minister of Education and say uh, it's good to be, uh, it's good that you are courageous, you are bold enough. Uh, it's high time. I know some countries like Sweden and the US children are going back to school it is high time our children go back to school um, only that now we need to take the precautions that are required